Hello and welcome to a CISSP module 1.4 where we're going to talk about compliance requirements. So what is compliance? Compliance talks about, and this image really illustrates it perfectly, compliance is when you have to adhere to something. You're basically stuck, you're chained, you, you have to comply with something. You have to obey. Uh, you have to adhere to some kind of standard, some kind of regulation or something um, that is that is mandated for your group or, or your industry or your business, you're basically responsible to act according to something. So what are those somethings? Well, first one is the contract that they list in the CBK here. Contract is a formal agreement and it's usually written and it's it's um, it may have legal force to it, it may not, it may have uh, monetary enforcement to it. Another one is a legal standard, and legal standards are set by government bodies. Um, uh, let me back up. Legal standard is something that's set by the court. It's a court precedent. It's usually a decision by a judge about a certain law uh, from an out, a court outcome, and that judge will uh, make a ruling, and that ruling becomes what's called a precedent, and the precedent is what people have to adhere to. An industry standard is for example, something that that the industry has to adhere to or agrees to adhere to. There's no inherent legal force in the industry standard. For example, in the trucking industry, and I'm just I just made this up off the top of my head. You might have uh, the certain number of wheels that a, a truck can have, or you might have the certain length that, that the truck can be made or manufactured, or the length or the size or the weight of the trailer and the truck, so on and so forth. A regulatory standard is something that is set by a government body. So, for example, the IRS. The IRS has written a set of laws that that uh, anybody that collects, anybody that uh, pays taxes, they have to adhere to. Um, and all kinds of government agencies and lawmakers would fit into this category here, regulatory standards. So let's get into a quick quiz. Uh, this might be a good question to, to think about. The difference between a regulatory standard and a legal standard is... So let's take a look. A. Legal standards are based on court decisions. Regulatory standards are mandates set by government agencies. Hmm. I kind of like that one. But let's see what else, what our other options are. We have regulatory standards are enacted by the public. Legal standards are based on jury outcomes. Hmm. Uh, regulatory standards aren't necessarily enacted by the public. Of course, government agencies are the public, but I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, go with that answer there. It's not the best. <clears throat> Legal standards represent the views of government agencies. Regulatory standards represent the views of court decisions. Uh, something's weird with that one. The um, I mean, regulatory standards are from government bodies, and legal standards are the courts. So that they got that reversed which is what A is here. So this last one here, regulatory standards are based on international laws and legal standards are based on local laws. That one's out because they're never going to ask you about local laws, at least I wouldn't think. Uh, local laws are more for for you to know, for your local area. So quick note on audits. You have to know what an audit is. An audit is where you basically it's a compliance review and so they examine how you are adhering to those standards as an organization so as always thanks for watching and if you want to get some practice with more practice questions head over to cissprep.net and sign up and and we have over 700 questions currently and there's uh, over 300 more coming so get some practice in and we will talk to you in 1.4b thanks for watching